Hello everybody, how are you guys? We're here in Pittsburgh on a beautiful day again. Well, it's been raining a little bit, but that's all right. It rains in the Midwest, man. Is this the Midwest? I guess we never really answer that question. I think it's what you want it to be. You want it to be the Midwest? Then it is. You want it to be the East? Then it is. You know, it's really an East. It's really an Eastern city, in my opinion. It just is. It has more like a Boston, like old school, you know, cobblestone streets everywhere. <laughs> Can't feel. But I can see the Midwest connection. You know, Cleveland is the big rival. Cincinnati's a big rival. Cincinnati's a river town like Pittsburgh. You know, it's it's right right in between. But anyway, guys, uh, this is the latest in a series of videos about communities in Pittsburgh. This one is going to be on a community called Belt Hoover. And Belt Hoover is not right where we are, but relatively close when you look at the big picture. It's on the south side of the rivers down here in the southern portion of the Pittsburgh metro. And Belt Hoover has an interesting uh, history, and we're going to talk about it right now. Now, I don't know these things. I'm just learning them from people that I meet. Uh, I was standing outside a pizza joint last night, and this guy wearing yellow socks and black pants and a yellow shirt uh, with a with a toque, which is a stocking cap, wearing a toque that said, Steelers forever, Browns never. Uh, told me this about Belts Hoover, so I'm just relaying the information. Now, Belts Hoover is a town with a lot of history. It was founded in 1799 and had, had some industry, but they had both a guy named Mr. Belts and a guy named Mr. Hoover. Now, Mr. Hoover was connected to who? That's right, the Hoover Vacuum Cleaner Company. And Mr. Belts is one of these people that makes a product that is uh, the same as, as his name. They made belts. Uh, you could have called it Belts and Son because Howard Belts was the father, Beanie Belts was the son, and Beanie Belts is, is the one that came up with the idea that connected the two because uh, originally Hoover vacuum cleaners were just these sweepers that you rolled back and forth and they had a roller on it with brushes and it would uh, pick up stuff and put it into the uh, bin there and the little <laughs> you're like what yeah so beanie belts came up with the idea of connecting a belt to the hoover sweepers which was an innovation that helped develop it into a vacuum cleaner so Belts Hoover is where they made the original belts uh, for the original version of what we know today as a vacuum cleaner. So it's a loose, you kind of have to imagine what it was like, because I don't have the pictures to show you. Uh, but Belts Hoover then was the town, they named it Belts Hoover because it was the linking piece between Beanie Belts, or you could say uh, Senior Belts and Son, but Beanie Belts was the son who came up with the idea, and the, and the uh, Hoover family. It was a cousin of the guy that founded the Hoover vacuum cleaner. The cousin and Beanie were friends, and let's just say they were out having a few belts when Beanie came. Beanie came up with this idea of connecting the uh, belts they made with the Hoover vacuum cleaners that the Hoover family, of course, marketed and were very successful with. Well, the Hoover sweepers. So I, I think it's a really exciting uh, town. They still have the original factory there. You can go on a tour. Now it's a bed and breakfast. And uh, as part of your uh, staying there, you get free tour of the plant that is on the bottom floor still. And uh, yeah, I guess the legend or, or the story is on the street that it, Beanie Belts uh, and one of the Hoover cousins were out having some cocktails here in Pittsburgh 
back in the day. So we're talking, this is um, late 1800s, okay? Uh, the town itself was founded before that, but it had a different name at that time. Okay, it was called, uh, let me just look at my notes. It was called Leaf Spring. And they just picked that name out of the dictionary. There's really no reason for it. So that's why there was no real objection when they wanted to change it to Belt Hoover. Now, Belt Hoover has a much better uh, kind of connection to the history of the town. So it, it won overwhelmingly in a city council vote and they put it to the voters and they confirmed it. But wow, what a history. And again, another example of a small community in Pittsburgh that has a direct link to the manufacturing and um, you could say merchandising history of this company and names like Hoover that we all know so well, a lot of it was developed right here in Pittsburgh. So you could say, you could say a lot of the technology and conveniences that you use around your home today, a lot of the support parts and pieces and ideas and uh, manufacturing processes that made all of that possible was developed right here in Pittsburgh. And specifically in this video in the community of Bell's Hoover. So a big up to Bell's Hoover, big ups. Thank you for your contribution to the city of Pittsburgh and to American commerce and capitalism. Guys, that's all we have for now. Come back more. We have so many more. I mean, people are going crazy for these videos because honestly, uh, I don't know why, but no one else is doing them. But it's up to me, and I'm going to take that challenge. This has been another Joe Ditzel parody comedy. Come back for more, guys. we got lots more.